Good morning, all of you. So as we know, presently we are studying the chapter number two in physics. That is what? What is the chapter? Force and loss of motions. Yes or no? So that is what we can say. Loss of motions. Also, we can call it as what? Newton's loss of motions. So totally, in this chapter, we are going to study a three loss of Newtons, which has been given by to describe the motion of a body, that is what we can say Newton's loss of motion. Now, first of all, we are studying presently at only regarding force. So, later only we will go for the Newton's loss. So, as we know, force means already we studied in the last class. What is the force means? What do you mean by force? Anyone? Push or pull. Sir. A push or pull of an object. If you we'll push the object or we can pull the object or lot of actions. Every action in our daily life as we know. So that everything will cause us what? Force only. So because of force. So as we notice it if here, if you'll see, we can say a force is the influence which will tend to set a stationary body in motion or a moving body in stop or which will uh, tends to change the speed of a body or direction of a moving body or which will tends to change the shape and size of the body. Yes or no guys? That is what five effects of forces we studied. Can anyone tell me what is the five effects of forces which we studied? What is the five effects of forces? Mithachri? So the five effects of forces which we studied is what? A force can move a stationary body. First one. Second one is what ready? A force can stop a moving stop body. Moving. Third one, a force can change the speed of a moving body. Means in the sense of what? A body which is moving slow, it may be increases the speed. A body which is moving fast may decreases the speed. That is what a force can change the speed of a moving body. Next one, what is the fourth effect of force? Anyone? What is the force? direction of the body? Direction of the moving body. Direction. So, by applying force, we can change the direction of a moving body. Yes or no? Everyone? So, on last one, that is the fifth effect of force. What is the fifth effect of force, guys? Vartani. That is what we can change the shape or size of a size of a body. So for everyone, I have been given the examples also. Yes or no, guys? For example, if I apply the force on balloon, so I have been uh, blown balloon here. I have been apply the force on both the directions. Then what will happen, guys? Two kinds of changes we can observe. What is that? One is shape will change, and as well as one more thing, what will change? Size, size. Of change. correct or not? So that is what. So everything is you can see as we know, force is invisible thing. Only we can feel the what we can feel, guys. The effect of force. Okay, are you understand everyone? So we can feel the effect of force. We cannot see the force. That is what five effects of forces. Totally, we have five effects of forces which we already studied in the last class. Now, in our today's class, we are going to study the next very, very important concept. So that is what balanced and unbalanced forces. What is that, guys? Balanced and unbalanced. Very, very important concept. Balanced and unbalanced forces. unbalanced forces. Now, as we all come to know, 8th class, I have only taught you here. You might be noticing it. So always some kind of invisible force is present between the two contacting surfaces. So what is that force? Anybody can tell me? Danishka, ready? Are two surfaces. Suppose if it is a ground, if I kept the box on it, so some force is acting between them. So because of irregularities, Harish, do you remember Harish, 8th class I have taught you? Because of irregularities, it will be happening. That is what which will oppose the motion. Always which will oppose us the motion. What is that? Friction, sir. Yeah, oppose us the motion of a moving body. So that is what we used to call it as frictional force or we can say friction. Yes sir, no guys? Which is always opposing understanding a uh, uh, moving body, then that is called as frictional force. Now, let us come to here. Now we are going to study balanced and unbalanced forces. Shall we start, guys? Everyone? Sure. That is. So now you all notice it. For example, let us take uh, somebody. 
Now, let me take one heavy box is present uh, in the ground. Now it is there in your textbook also, you can see. Now all of you should notice it. I have been kept one box, heavy box on the ground. Now, is it the box will move automatically? Anyone can tell me. I have been placed in one box on the ground. Is it the box will move? Anyone please respond? No, sir. No, sir. Example you can see here. I have been I have been, I have been given you one box. Now I asked uh, from bottom Harris will push and from top Reddy will push and from this side Daniskar will do it and this side uh, Mithakshri will do it. Now you tell me is all the sides everybody is applying the same amount of force or else everybody is trying to push it, push it, push it. Is it possible to displace this object? Is it possible to okay. displace? Not possible to displace. Why guys? Anybody can tell me? Not possible to displace. Anyone can tell me? Please respond. Sir, because he applied on all sides. All the directions, everybody is applying the same amount of force so that it is not possible to move the object in any direction of this one. So, in this situation, the force, whatever the force is exerted on this body, that forces we used to call it as which force, guys? We used to call it as balanced forces. Understand, Mitakshri, Danishka? That is what. So yes, when, the force, when the forces are, for example, you can see in this picture. Can you able to see this picture? What is mentioned here? Please, all of you respond. What is it mentioned here? Heavy box. Understand? Heavy box does not move. Why means you can see. Here, as we know, as I told you, when the two surfaces are coming contact each other, then as you see, for example, from this side, Danishka and Reddy, everybody is trying to push this box, this side. Now, still the box is not moving. Why, guys? What is the reason behind? Even though Danishka and Harish is trying to push the, they are trying to uh, apply the force, force of, uh, force of our push, but still the box is not moving in this direction. Why, guys? Because of what is the reason behind? Because maybe their force is not sufficient. Understand, Hari? The force which is applying by these two is not sufficient. Why it is not sufficient? Because it is balancing to whom, guys? The force is balancing to whom? Please respond. The force of friction. The force of friction. Understand? See, uh, Reddy and Daniskar is trying to push the box in this direction. So as we know, force is always what direction it will act? It will act always opposite. opposite direction to the applied force. Please, all of you should remember frictional force. You might be not studied in, uh, we might be forgot it. Frictional force is always, always acts opposite to whom, guys? Opposite to whom? Mithyakshri? Opposite to the direction of applied force. Okay? Direction of applied force now for example i have been taken this box i am applying the force in this direction applied force what is the direction of frictional force anybody can tell me this direction or this direction anyone opposite direction, opposite direction. so this is the direction of uh, friction is it sr now Tanishka, respond you are open your mouth that is what so frictional force is causing frictional. guys frictional force is a what Frictional force is the opposing force of motion. Understanding? Opposing force of motion, which is exerting because of whom, guys? Ready? Because of whom? It is causing because of what, guys? Because of irregularities between the surfaces. Do you remember? Eighth class, I taught you. Irregularities of surfaces, they will interlock each other. So because of interlocking only, it is causing a type of force. What is the type of force? Everyone, that is only we used to call it as frictional force. All of you should remember that. That is only we used to call it as frictional force. Understand? If you forget also, you have to study. Now, why this box is not moving here? Anybody can tell me? Yes, please, Arun Kailash. Late always. Balanced. Because? The force applied from this push, which is exactly equals the force of friction. Same way, the force which will act always downward. Chapter one, we studied. What is the force acting downwards? 
Anybody can tell me the force. Gra Download, which we used to call it as gravitational force. Understand? So that gravitational force only, if it is comes to the earth, then what we can call? It? We can call it as force of gravity, we can say, or simply we can say gravity. Okay. So in case of earth alone, we can say it is a gravitational force or force of gravity. So force of gravity always will act which direction, guys? Always will act which direction? Force of gravity. Downward Everybody downward. will act downward direction. Now, if this box is exerting some force on this ground, then ground also will exert some force on the uh, box. That is what force of reaction we can say. Now you tell me the force of reaction which is exerted by whom, guys? Which is exerted by whom? Ground. 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 Because why ground is exerting force? Because on ground, who is exerting force? Girls, ground, who is exerting force? Box is exerting force on ground. That is why ground is also exerting force on the box. So these two forces are also balanced. So what will happen, guys? Box won't go down or box won't go up. If you notice it, all the directions, all the directions so this force and this force is balanced each other this force and this force is balanced each other but what about the direction if you are smart enough you can answer me what is the direction they are same direction or opposite direction always all to each other they are respond guys opposite direction. opposite so which is opposite here you can see force of push and force of friction is opposite direction same way force of gravity by weight of box is opposite to force of reaction which is exerted by the ground both are opposite so all the directions see if all the four directions are equal and uh, they are opposite to each other so that what is the resultant force what is the resultant force ready the resultant, force. resultant force is zero. Understand? Because both are what? For example, ready is applying 10 Newton force and friction is also 10 Newtons. But what is the direction this is? Opposite direction. So minus. So both will be balanced. Now, box is exerting 10 Newton force and ground is exerting opposite minus 10 Newtons. Both are balanced. So what is the resultant force, Harish? Resultant force is equal to zero Newton. So if the resultant force will become zero, then that forces are called as what forces? Mithakshri, Reddy, Parthini, that forces that will be force. called as balanced yeah. forces. Is it okay, Harish, Gokul? That is what. Yes, what? So that is what. Now you tell me, is it good or bad for our balanced forces? Mithakshri will say. Mithakshri, is it good or bad balanced forces? Suppose if you want to move, then if it is a balance of forces, is it possible to move? No, sir. No. So if you want to move the object, what kind of forces we need, guys? Balanced or unbalanced forces? Anybody? Uh, unbalanced. Unbalanced. unbalanced forces. So if it is a balanced forces, why can't we move the body? Because resultant forces will become what? Zero. Forces will become what? Everyone, just now we studied the resultant forces. Zero. Zero. So if the resultant forces is zero, is it possible to move the body? Is it possible no, to move the body? It is not possible to move the body if the resultant force is what? Zero. Do you understand everyone? So that is what you have to remember it and you have to make it. So the first definition of resultant force. So now you can draw this box also in your classwork and you can write the definition of that. So all of you should remember the resultant force is zero. Then we can say that force is called as what? Force is what? Balanced forces. Now, the box which is in state of rest, I can say balanced forces. Now, if the body is moving in a uniform motion, then the resultant forces is what, guys? Now you can see it's not coming to zero. If the body is moving in a uniform motion in a straight line, which motion, hurry? Uniform motion. Understand? So, uniform motion. Now, body neither comes to rest 
nor comes to more speed means speed is also not increases not decreases and it is never comes to like more faster it won't go or more slower also it won't go and it will never come to rest so means in the sense of what is the net resultant force what is the resultant force resultant force is equals to what guys it is remains zero only do you understand hari so the the body which is moving in a uniform motion in which line in a straight line do you understand so there also no change in the body then we can say what is the force patni arun kailash it is called as balanced forces understand so we can say the position of rest or of uniform motion both it appears as no force is acting on it then we can say in this cases we can say what is that guys the resultant force will be equals to what what is the resultant force guys please respond guys resultant zero. force equals to zero so that is what will happen when the balanced forces please all of you write the definition of balanced forces so forces are how many types guys forces are how many types two types one is balanced forces and another one is what unbalanced unbalanced first of all all of you write balanced forces that uh, image also in a textbook you can write it draw it and later only we'll add it now balanced forces right if the resultant of all the forces if the resultant of all the forces anyone can tell me for example i am walking i am i am sitting on the ground what is the forces exerting on me suppose uh, haris is trying to push me from the back side what is the forces are exerting here push applied force applied by push is it sir now guys applied force yes, due to push then opposite who will be there the force frictional force frictional force then the force which i am exerting on the ground that is what i am exerting on the ground that is what we can say what is that force gravitational force then ground will exert on my body that is what we can say force of action what is that force of action understand so force of action or reaction 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 okay. force of reaction that is what so every object always how many forces are exerting on it if we we'll take any object in the earth always how many forces guys force four forces always acting so that is what you have to remember it now first of all write the definition of balanced forces shall so we start guys everyone arun kailash no response at all go be gokul also gokul yes, if the if yes, if the resultant of all the forces if the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is how much ra acting on a body is how much guys acting on a body is how much guys nobody is answering the resultant force is how much hari sir what's the question sir what is the resultant force in the balanced forces zero zero, zero asking please write it if the resultant of if the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is zero if the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is zero acting on a body is zero comma the forces are called the forces are called the forces are called which forces guys the forces are called which forces everybody balanced force balanced forces the forces are called the forces are called the forces are called which forces everybody balanced force balanced forces the forces are called balanced forces everybody make it completed yes sir 
Right. Now, so uh, in which uh, which of the example you can give balanced forces? Any two examples? What is the two examples of uh, body examples? Either the body, the position of the object is in rest, or the body is in moving in which way? Which motion? Uniform motion. Uniform motion. Both we can feel no force is acting on it. Please write it. Examples. Examples. A body is in rest. A body is in. A body is in position of rest. Position of rest, and as well as one more thing, what? Body is in uniform motion. What is the? What do you mean by uniform motion? No increasing speed, no decreasing speed. Understanding body will never comes to rest. Also, yes or no, guys? Yes, please. So that is what we used to call it as uniform motion. Understand? Then in these two cases, we can say what is that, guys? What we can say? The forces are which forces? It is in balance forces. That is what you have to remember it. So please, all of you, write it. Now you can draw that box also. So as with that box is present in uh, page number page number forty eight. You can see in our textbook figure number six. So, what is the four forces acting on that body? Everyone, can tell me what is the four forces acting on that body. One is force, force of, of our push. push. First one. Next one, force of our friction. So, friction opposes what? Always friction opposes the motion of a moving body. Understand? So, which will oppose the push and does not allow the box to move. Next one, force of gravity. What do you mean by force of gravity, everyone? Which will pulls the box? Which direction? Force of gravity, downward or upward? Force of downward. gravity. Force of gravity is always downward direction. Then opposite to this, ground will exert force on the box. That is what which is upward forces to balance the force of gravity. So that force only we used to call as what we used to call. Just now you told me. Force of reaction. Force of, force of reaction. A reaction understand so action a reaction so this is what so totally four different forces you can take it is acting on the single body okay so you have to remember that okay guys force of push so like this we have to identify so what is balanced forces any doubt guys now i kept a heavy object heavy object on this ground so then the four, it is the object is not moving on any side. Then we can say it is which forces? Balanced or unbalanced forces? Yes, please. Balanced. balanced forces. Now you can say here, for example, how many of you know tugs of war? Tugs of war, you all know, correct? Yes, please. Do yes, sir. War. So tugs of war, neither nor any side the rope won't be fall down. You can see both the sides they are pulling the rope. When the forces of the two teams on the rope are balanced, means equal and opposite, then the rope does not move in either direction. Why, guys? Why, guys? Anyone? The force is balanced. Yes, that is what you have to remember. Now, in our textbook also you can see the pictures are there. So, Thugs of War is the more popular game which we all people know we used to play when we are kids also. Is it us, guys? Everybody? Now you can why this both fellows the rope is not moving either this direction or this direction because why because both the teams are playing what both the teams are playing same and force. yeah same force understanding so when as they are applying the same amount of force then the rope won't be come to this side or rope won't be moved to this side so now you can see in this situation what is the forces acting on between them what are the forces acting between them guys that is what we can say. Please respond. We used to call it as what? Balance. That is what will happen. Now, for example, this red color man will apply, the team will apply a little bit more force. Then what will happen, Ari? Anyone? What will happen, everybody? The blue color fellows will come, will fall forward direction. So a rope also will move towards the red boy so by that time who is exiting more force red or blue red or blue red. 
red so that we can mention the what what we can mention the unbalanced forces we can say by that time red the force exerted by red is more than the force exerted by the blue so we can say it is which case balanced or unbalanced in that case we can say it is unbalanced is it okay guys that is what will happen now see this balloon everybody might be familiar with this now uh, uh, observe very carefully here also we are applying the force in both the directions you can see here from this side and that side both the directions is applying but here also she is applying the equal amount of force, but still one more change we are seeing. What is the change? Anybody can tell me. Here I am applying the balance and forces, understanding, so that, understand it, the balloon, so that, uh, it is of both the sides forces are balanced so that the balloon won't be blast or whatever it is. Now, still it is one more change we are observing. What is the change? Anybody can tell me. Anyone, anybody? It's a change in shape. Like Very good. So, even though unbalanced balance the forces we can we are applying, but having a chances of what, guys? Having a chances of what? Arun Kailash, Vartani, Dhanushkar, even though the forces are balanced, but having possible to change what, guys? What is possible to change? It is possible to change shape of forces are what? Forces are still balance clear everyone so forces are balanced but having a chances to change what guys change the shape of the body but very few only understanding very few objects only we can change like this but still balanced forces are acting on it is it okay guys everyone yes please respond yes, sir. Yes, sir. so why this balloon is not uh, broken or blast anything anybody suppose i have been poked only one side then what will happen hurry ready it will be blast definitely yes sir no. now i am applying what forces am i am i applying uh, ununiform force or like unbalanced forces or balanced forces what forces I'm applying? Balanced. Balanced forces. So balanced forces might be shape will change, but remains forces are same. So that no displacement. Do you understand, guys? So no displacement yet to be because forces are remain same. But if you'll see, uh, is uh, what we can say, unbalanced forces might be change the shape of the object, but balanced forces is will never create motion in a body. Do you understand, everyone? Balance forces will never give you, they will never create a motion in our body. That is what. So you have to understand what is un unbalanced forces. Is it okay, guys? Yes, please. So that is what. So now yes, sir. we can find one more point. What is that point from balloon experiment? Anybody can give conclusion? From balloon experiment, we did one, we learned one thing. What is that? Girls or boys, anybody can tell me, but I'm expecting from everybody. So what is that? What is the change you observe? By applying the forces, though the balanced forces cannot produce motion in a stationary body, but they can what? They cannot mm -hmm. move a stationary body or they cannot stop the moving body, but they can change one thing. What is that? Shape, sir. Shape, sir. Danishka, have you understand, Danishka? They can change the shape of the body that is what so might be they may be stationary they cannot produce the motion in a stationary body they cannot stop a moving body but however change can be happen happen can be not i'm saying sure can be happen so that is what example what is that guys they will ask you an exam give an example of which is applied for balanced forces but still uh, we can see one effect of force. What is that, guys? Maybe we may not create the motion in your body, but we can uh, feel the effect of force. What is that one? Everyone can tell me. What is that effect of force? Even though it is a, a balanced forces, that is what I can say. Uh, but still, one more kind of effect of force we can feel. What is that for? What is the force? Anyone? That is what? Force can. Yeah, that is a sixth effect of uh, force. That is what force can change the size and what is that shape of the body. So that is what you can give the, give the examples also. So please all of you write it. Everyone, Mitakshri, have you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. 
So that is what. So if a number of balanced forces acting on a body, stationary body, then the body will be remains in which position, guys? Suppose let it be hundreds of balanced forces are acting. Remains the body is in which position? Remains the body is in stationary position only. Understand? If a number of balanced forces acting on a body in uniform motion, uniform motion, what will happen, guys? Remains what? Remains it will continue in which motion? Remains in it will continue in uniform motion only. Understand? So balanced forces cannot change the body which is in state of rest. Same way cannot change the body which is in which motion, guys? Which motion? Nobody is answering. Which motion? Uniform motion. Sir. Uniform motion. That both you have to remember it and you have to write it. So please all of you write it. Are you clear? Any doubt? Balanced forces? Everybody, everyone, write it. Right. If a number of balanced forces acting on a stationary body, if a number of balanced forces acting on a stationary body, stationary body, stationary body, comma, the body continues to remain in, the body continues to remain in, which motion, guys? Stationary motion, stationary position, okay? Comma, the body continues to remain in its stationary position. Danishkar, have you written? Gokul, Arun Kailash? Yes, sir. Everyone. Yes, sir. So, if a number of balanced forces act on a stationary body, comma, the body continues to remain in its stationary position. The body continues to remain in its stationary position. Next. If a number of balanced forces acting on a body if a number of balanced forces acting on a body in uniform motion, in uniform motion, comma, can anybody feel the statement? Pitachri, Parthani, what is that? If a number of balanced forces acting on a body in uniform motion, comma, the body continues to be in what? State of? Comma, the body continues to be in the body continues to be in its state of uniform motion. Its state of uniform motion. Clear, guys? Next point. So even though balanced forces maybe cannot change the stationary body position or it cannot stop the moving body, but it can change one more thing. What is that, guys? Balanced forces may cre cannot create the motion or they may be not stop the moving body, but they can change one. What is that? Example, ready? That is what? Shape, sir. Shape, sir. Change the shape of the body. So what is the example? Balloon, understand it? So that is what balloon, if you'll apply the force, the squeezing of rubber ball or balloon, when we press a rubber ball or balloon between our two hands, the shape of the rubber balloon or ball will change us from spherical to some oblique shape. But in this case, the applied forces are what? Equal and opposite forces, balanced forces with our hands, but still body, the balloon does not move. Its shape only will change. That is what. Everybody clear? Yes or no? Please write it. Right. Okay. Next point. Note. Keep note and write. Though balanced forces cannot produce motion,
क्लियर गाइस यस राइट दो बैलेंस्ड फोर्सेस कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस मोशन दो बैलेंस्ड फोर्सेस कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस मोशन दो बैलेंस्ड फोर्सेस कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस मोशन इन ए स्टेशनरी बॉडी इन ए इन ए व्हाट स्टेशनरी बॉडी आर स्टॉप ए मूविंग बॉडी आर स्टॉप ए मूविंग बॉडी or stop a moving body or stop a moving body or stop a moving body comma they can they can they can they can however they can however change the what guys change the shape of the shape body. yeah they can change the shape of the body they can change the shape of the body. example what squeezing squeezing up a rubber ball or balloon squeezing a rubber ball or balloon squeezing a rubber ball or balloon squeezing a rubber ball or balloon example clear meeting is going to end join back we will study the next type of force that is what we can say what is that guys second type of forces What is that? Unbalanced. Unbalanced forces. So please, all of you, join back.